Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm making this uh, for everybody that loves to play DCS uh, A10C as much as I do. So if you're like me, uh, your workspace is used for something other than messing around and playing uh, simulations. Uh, you actually have responsibilities and um, well, I, you know, kind of a dual purpose space. So what I did was um, I have the Thrustmaster uh, uh, Hotas Warthog and um, I got really, really tired of putting it on my desk and it's just, it just, I was just tired of it. I've been, ha I've been playing simulations ever since, uh, geez, I don't know, ever since there were computers that were uh, able to uh, actually play them on. But um, so what I, I just went out of my workshop and I got some uh, scrap plywood. Um, even for those of you that don't aren't lucky enough to have workshops or aren't into woodworking or anything, this is is a really easy build. Just wood glue and nails. That's all I did. Um, three quarter inch plywood, half inch plywood. I went to Home Depot, and actually all I had to do is get four screws. I just matched the um, the size of the screws that originally were used for the base. Took the base off. Went and got four new ones that were just slightly bit uh, longer, so I could go through this thicker half-inch plywood and screw it right to this base. Um, and then all there was left to do was basically just I used oak because it's it's really hard, um, but you could probably use plywood just as easily. Uh, you match this thickness with this, kind of like a drawer slide. Um, I cut these corners off because I kept smacking my knees on them and it was it hurt like hell, but. Uh, you get these in the position, and then I just used wood glue and um, drywall screws to temporarily fasten them in. Once the wood glue, glue dries, uh, these things are they're on there for life. You'd have to literally rip the desk apart to, to get them off. They're not in my way when I'm not using the stuff, so they don't really bother me at all. I can still push my chair in, all that stuff. But uh, So when I'm ready to play, I just take this and just slide it right in. And that's it. You're good to go. Um, the same thing with the throttle. I keep, keep. I don't normally keep the throttle down there. I'll show you what I, I usually do with it in a second. But for those of you that have this system, you know how heavy this thing is. It's 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 ridiculous. It's a beast. Um, I just again use drywall screws just to screw uh, this one down because it's got actually the flange for it. But um, same thing. You know, it's the same exact principle. I just I have these two strips over here. And when I'm ready to use it, you slide it right in, and that's it. The weight of this thing actually holds it in place. The same with this. Not quite as well. I mean, it it, it, it moves a little bit, but you really don't notice it at all. Um, and I've got some pro pedals down here. They're old as dirt, but they work great. I just wish they were a little wider apart, because once you have this thing between your legs, <clears throat> um, you want your feet farther apart so that your knees aren't kind of pinching this thing still it they works it works fine i just uh i put both my armrests down probably if i had it to do over again i'd make this actually even a little bit lower just to to lower this down a little bit um but it works great it's so nice to actually have be able to rest your arm on your leg and it just it's it's perfect right where it is and you can still use all of it you have full range of motion You've got your keyboard here if you want. I, I have actually I have my screen on one of those arms and I just adjust it like that. I've got my uh, track uh, track IR set up up there, which is perfect. My wife comes in here and she just kind of shakes her head and walks away, but um, she understands. And I gotta geek out and you know I got my knee, my knee board I just made with scrap pieces, chopped up an old clipboard I had with some uh, kayak bungee I had laying around, some hooks. So do that. Just kind of sit back and write out my JTAC instructions and start killing bad guys, I guess. But um, when I'm not using uh, when I'm not using the joystick, I just I pull it out and I just leave it under the desk and the pedals I just kind of push aside. But this thing is actually it's better in here. I realize that I could still when I'm not using it, I just lift it up a little bit and it just slides right in, and I just leave it there all the time. I wanted to take it out to show you guys how it just slides right in just like this, but. Um, for all intents and purposes, it does not get in my way at all right here. It's perfect. Um, just slide it all the way back to the detent, and that allows you to push it in that much more. 
So maybe if I ever make a new one for it to move it down a little bit more, I'll actually move it down so much that this will actually clear this and I'll be able to push it in all the way. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys if anybody's interested in maybe making a couple of these things for themselves. Uh, it's like I said, it's really, really simple. I'd be more than happy to uh, email you guys the measurements, maybe a couple drawings, you know, rough sketches of how I did it and uh, what I would recommend. If I change anything, I'd let you know. But um, hope you liked the video and uh, take care. Happy flying, guys. We'll see you.